I don't know what to what to attribute them to. Like you said, is it an exposure? Is it a weak immune system? Is there a gut connection to it no, as well? It's, it's just part of the viral infection. So mm -hmm. viruses tend to go in two major areas. They go upper respiratory or lower respiratory, right? So a viral infection that goes too deep can eventually become pneumonia. A viral infection here can become a, si a major sinus infection. And so by being on top of this, you have your tools. Your sinus flush is your best for your upper respiratory. Your nebulizer is best for your lower respiratory. And so you can prevent those things. Once you have a viral infection that's replicating, it's creating inflammation, you can prevent these things from going too far with those tools. Well, that's a great point you just made, which is the possibility of it turning into pneumonia. So people listening are like, well, why should I care? Why should I try to do this and speed the process up? Why should I try to intervene? Well, because you don't want it creating more systemic inflammation or leading to something more serious, especially in a person who's 80 years old or above, you know, that could create much more problems if they didn't treat while it was just up here and it went further south. Yeah. And if someone's sick and they're trying to prevent, I think two to three flushes a day is good for like prevention, especially while you're sick. I think it can't hurt just doing a straight saline rinse once a day in general. Uh, I wouldn't add any killers or anything to it. Just a straight saline, I think is fine. Just to kind of keep your nose clean at the end of the day, you want to do that. I think it's fine. If you're sick, I'm going like every hour or two, I'm flushing my nose out just because it one, it, it feels really good. It's really clean. And just as long as you're not irritating the mucus, you know, it's isotonic solution. So you have like the sodium, the chloride, it has the bicarbonate in here. Those are the, the two major compounds, right? Like, so sodium chloride is basically your um, sea salt, right? And then you have your bicarbonate in there. So those are the two major ingredients. And then, of course, this is all like USP grade. So it's just really, really clean. Yeah, and what and you mean I, by that for people listening, what you're saying is that it's pH balanced, so it's not going to irritate your sinus cavity. Yeah, water. you can't just take regular like clean water and put it in your nose. It will, you will absolutely burn it and irritate it. It will feel like someone punched you in the face because of the, the mucous membranes need a certain pH and a certain level of sensitivity. So it's kind of like using eye drops, right? Same, same thing. You need to have like saline-based eye drops. So this is you're using sodium chloride, pharmaceutical grade, plus the bicarbonate, which is baking soda. That makes everything nice and balanced for the tissue. So when you flush it, it shouldn't irritate the sinuses and it should allow it to feel nice and smooth and gentle afterwards. And then if you have some kind of infection brewing, even preventative for a bug, just add a little bit of silver or hydrogen peroxide in there or a couple of drops, of, you know, some iodine. That'll give you just enough killing capacity to knock down any bugs that could be multiplying. But I'm going every hour or two. For me, it just feels really good very soothing. It feels like I, plus if you blow your nose too much, you just get your nose all raw around the side. So it's nice to have a nice clean flush. I kind of call it's like, it's like a bidet for your nose, right? That's kind of how I look at it. That's hilarious. You right? know, this would be a good strategy for travel too. So uh, if you need oh, something portable, like the Exlu Rescue, huge. if you're on a plane or after you get off a plane, it'd be a good idea to boom, boom, do a couple sprays. That'd be great.